Oh. Right, as I, I always forget, guys, what I've told you, what I haven't told you. Anyway, we're off to drop Fen off at Keegan's brother's house because we're on our way to York. I'm spending my birthday in York. My birthday's on Sunday, it's currently Friday. We've got one of Keegan's friend's weddings tomorrow, which is also in York. And then, yeah, on Sunday, we're gonna stay in a hotel for two nights and then on my birthday, I have no idea because we kind of celebrated my birthday two weeks ago. So I went for a meal out with some friends and then we went out with a couple more friends on Saturday, which was really nice to a lovely tapas restaurant. And then on Sunday, we met my parents at the Corinthia Hotel and we had a lovely afternoon tea. I didn't really film my birthday because I wanted it for myself. I didn't really want to film it for YouTube, so that's why. So that's why there's only like some random clips. But yeah, that was sort of my main birthday weekend. And then, yeah, we've got Sunday. I'm hoping we're going for Nando's tonight. I'm gonna ask him now, he's coming. Baby, we're going to Nando's. If you want, why? Just wondering what you want. I just want to know if we're, what we're thinking for dinner, because I'm a greedy, horrible, fat bastard. <laughs> Um, it's your weekend, so... Nando's it is. We went to Nando's last time. We did, last time. This I've got deja vu. I was filming in this position, holding Fen, talking about Nando's. As we've arrived, this is our little apart hotel. I've never stayed in an apart hotel before, so I'm buzzing for this, because you get your own kitchen, you've got your fridge, your microwave, your hob. Let's have a look what's through here. Nice big bathroom. Got the wardrobe space. Keegan working at his desk. And then this, oh this is nice. I love a bit of velvety material. Very good. I'll show you the angle from round here. This is cute, it's like a studio apartment. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's a small studio. Small studio, fantastic. fantastic. And air con. b roll, b roll, b roll. Guys, it's my birthday. It is Sunday. Birthday. Thank you. Um, I just filmed That's this the first time little I've first time. Yeah, he's only just remembered. Not true. Um, Keegan actually woke me up with a cake in a jar with a candle, singing "Happy Birthday" to me. So cute. So this thing here is called Dills, and I think it's an old watchtower from the bridge. I don't know if it's called a watchtower, but anyway, it's really cute in there and we had a couple of cocktails and that was lovely. But anyway, today we are just going to be exploring York. We're going to a famous tea room called Betty's, which I've always wanted to go to for a scone. And just explore. It's a very old city. So it's right on my very street. Very old, you can't get a taxi. Yeah, literally. We've been waiting. Yesterday was a two hour wait for a taxi to get to this wedding that we were going to. So we had to drive. And so this morning we've had to get another taxi, which took a bit of time and drive to pick up the car and come back into York. So it's been a, a practical morning. Totes practical. Totes practical, but we're here. And can, can you just show everyone my jacket? Just want to do a fashion show. Yeah. What, do, what do you guys think of it? Bam. Wow. Thank you. I'm going out with an influencer. Aren't you? Boyfriends of influencers having to hold the camera. Yeah. Excuse me, excuse me. Hold this, hold this. Hold this, hold this. <laughs> Oh guys, look at these donuts. I do not need any more sweet snacks. I've already had cake for breakfast. And of course I'll have some more later today, but... And here we are in York. <laughs> you can see that's the Minster up there. Um, Tell me more fact than Miss Diva. Uh, this is Joel's shop. <laughs> um, more facts about York. York was the capital of England once upon a time. Was it? So was Winchester. Yeah, that was Alfred the Great, though. Uh, maybe it was the capital of Danelaw. Uh, okay. Same time. <laughs> um, <coughs> don't quote me on that. The symbol of Yorkshire is the white York rose. But is York in Yorkshire? Yes. Oh, okay. Also, what else have we got? The War of the Roses was the House of York versus the House of Lancaster. I see. Kind of Lancashire. <laughs> um, that was the War of the Roses. Richard III, not a nice king. He killed his nephew so, they, so he could get the big king. Um, very Game of thrones -y. He then died. Shakespeare did a play about him. It's called Richard III, believe it or not. Um, and then the Tudors took over. And that was the end of the House of York. Oh, you're so clever. 
Look at him, handsome and clever. <laughs> These shops are so nice. It is very Winchester. The Chancery and the Exchequer to your day return to London in 30 knots. Right. See guys, he's still swatting up on history. I'm looking at this Christmas shop. I'm thinking, do we go in? I think it's only just opening. You can see that the elves are getting ready. We'll buy a bauble for the tree. Yeah, let's do it. We did in Edinburgh. Guys, here is Betty's tea room. It's like one of the most famous tea rooms. I've always wanted to go here. Apparently, they do massive fat rascals. We have to queue, sadly, but might be worth it. Here we go. Lovely. Carrot Google Huff. Google Huff. Carrot Google Huff. A carrot sponge coated with water icing. Mm. Well, guys, this is the Yorkshire rarebit. I've only ever had Welsh rarebit, and it's normally on toast, so I'm confused about this. Well, as good as Yorkshire rarebit. Oh, no, you're biased, though. You've gone for full English, and then we've got some toast cut into little feeders. Fantastic. So, guys, it's bread with egg and cheese, and then it's got ham and leeks inside, and it's so good. Isn't it good? You've never tried it before. So nice. Really good. Approved. It's a thing. <laughs> I've got a little birthday fondant complimentary. <laughs> Whoa, happy. <laughs> Don't start. Well, oh, should I cut it in half? Yum. Fondant fancy. We love fondant fancies, don't we? Do we? Is that the royal way? Mmm. Mmm. I think that's made like cream cheese. <laughs> Guys, that was so good. I actually took my gooey rascal to take away because I'm full. Um, so I'll give you the verdict later on when we try it at home. I saw this yesterday, guys, and I really want to go inside. It's called the Imaginarium. Oh, wow. <gasps> These mugs. Oh, my gosh. So cool. <gasps> guys, these are salt and pepper shakers. Daxies, hamsters, and the chickens are cute. Look at the badgers. I do, I love chickens. This is the York Minster. Oh. I'll have a look down. Okay. Yeah, this is the York Minster, and I was just saying to Keegan, I have no idea what the difference is between a cathedral and a minster. So I'll see if I can find out, but it's beautiful. It's even more beautiful than a cathedral. It's huge, guys. So apparently Keegan did a bit of Googling and apparently it serves as a cathedral. It's just not called a cathedral because it was built pre-1066. So, did you? Before the Norman Conquest. Uh, cathedral is a French word. Cathedral. Cathedral. Um, so Anglo-Saxons called important churches minsters rather than uh, cathedrals. So, but it serves as a cathedral, it it's is the official cathedral, is the cathedral, but it's just not called a cathedral. But yeah, we've, we've come at the perfect time, bang on 12, so we've got 12 bongs, which is the most amount of bongs a clock can bong. It's the maximum bong. The maximum bongage. It's beautiful. Chenandla bong. <laughs> so this is the gooey rascal. It's a bit flatter than I thought. It's got chocolate chips in and it's stuffed with a salted caramel sauce and it's nice tell them your real review so my real review was i don't hate it at all it's not disgusting it doesn't taste horrible well it doesn't taste horrible <laughs> a glowing review joel wood i think travel it creator tastes review. nice travel creator review thank you very much you. um yeah it tastes nice but it's just i was expecting a massive scone soft gooey and it's like it tastes nice but it's just not what i expected 
I think my hopes were too high. I think your expectations are out of whack. Mm, they are. Now I'm Travel Content Creator of the Year, I just... <laughs> <laughs> I expect the best. You deserve the best, Alan. Thank you. On my special day. On this day of days. <laughs> we have some cards that got delivered here and some little gifts. This is a thing for my shaver, which is handy. A travel case, which is good. Um, I'm also wearing one of my gifts. Um, and I've packed another one. I've got a few t-shirts, but annoyingly, because there's a Royal Mail strike at the moment, combined with the Queen's funeral and everything, there's been a real delay with the Royal Mail. So there's a delay on everything. So when I get home, in London, there should be a few gifts there and a few presents there, apparently. And then some got sent here to Keegan's house. So there should be some more when I get home. Mum accidentally sent me three identical cards, <laughs> which is funny. And this was from my friends Gavin and Arpan, which is hilarious. <laughs> my friends are so nice to me. Also, Keegan got me this. That is very me. Hello. These are my glasses. I only need them for long distance, so I don't need them on now. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget, I have memberships available on this channel. If you'd like to become a VIP member, that means you get exclusive members-only videos and members-only live streams, then feel free to give it a go. It's $3.99 a month, so it's less than a coffee a month. It's really good. I've got over 400 members now, which is absolutely insane. So thank you so much to all my current members. Anyone else who'd like to join, come join the party. It's good fun there's loads of videos for you to catch up on and I'm a lot more honest and open in my members only videos because it's a smaller group of us there anyway thank you for watching please subscribe if you're new here I post videos every single week and I will see you next time with another video bye